this is video number 15 in our JavaScript series and in this video I'm going to talk about the for end statement the for end statement is used to, to loop iterate through the elements of an array or through the elements of an object uh, if that sounds a little Chinese to you I'm going to rephrase that uh, the loop is executed once for each element or for each property so I'm going to give a little simple example so this blurry statements will change a little bit so in a body part of my HTML I'm going to declare a variable x and a variable my cars and I'm going to make that a new array so after declaring that I'm going to try to fill the array my car is uh, on zero equals let's say Toyota sorry about that and my car is one equals Honda keep doing that Honda and my cars two equals BMW so I filled out my array and I made a new array and I filled it so what I'm gonna do now for X in my cars so I'm going to check for X in my cars and I'm going to document dot write my cars uh, X and I'm going to add a right here a line break I think to make it look uh, a little more better let me put those in double quotations and let me close the statement and I think this is supposed to run let me try that real quick and I think I have an error oops here's my error so let me run that again and I think it worked so I checked here for X and I document the write it the value for that in the cars and my cars document that right my cars x plus a line break so this was our tutorial number 15 I hope you benefited from this video if you got any questions please refer to the forum and remember to s uh, subscribe to the channel and thank you